in this video, we are becoming a Quincy instead of Peroxide. Now, this is my second playthrough on this game, so I'm a little bit more effective in this one. So you'll see that my progression between my Solar Bird video and this video are way different. And by different, I mean, I make a lot of progress in this video, like a lot of progress. So look forward to that. But if you haven't ready and you do enjoy this video, please drop a quick like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. It does help out the channel. And if you want to see more videos on me as a Quincy, do let me know down in the comments because I do really enjoy this class. It's a lot of fun, but let's go ahead and get started because we have a lot of work to do. Holy jeez, I am ugly. This was not a good hair choice. We're gonna have to fix that. But because I'm a Quincy, I decided to become a girl for this one because I'm already a dude on my Soul Reaper and then I haven't done a hollow yet. So I'm not sure what I'll do for the hollow. But for the Quincy's, I'm definitely gonna have to change some stuff about this avatar. I already have a different hair on, which we're about to see. Am I still being chased? Oh God, I'm still being chased. Not good. Okay, talk to you. Hello, I would like to become a Quincy. Thank you. Running away. Okay, we're good. Okay, we gotta change some stuff about this avatar. Cause I don't know. I think I think it might be the hair color. I'm very angry. Why don't they let me just customize? Okay, there we go. We look a little better. Well, the first thing I want to do is because our main goal is we want to get our stats up. And we're gonna start by cleaning up trash because we deal like no damage right now, and I don't want to be dealing with dying to basic enemies right now and we're gonna do this till we have 50 cash also luckily we can also do this quest pretty easily and get even more money and there we go we got our first skill now because we're level three yeah i'm gonna do arrow barrage because there's a block break i feel like i'll probably end up using that long term i do want to try doing an entirely different build set than i did on the soul reaper because I, I used the other two abilities on the soul reaper also let me go ahead and buy the soul gourd so that way if i ever kill anything can you tell that i have more practice compared to the last video i somewhat know what i'm doing for the beginning all right let's also go ahead and roll our clan while we're here so right now we are this one let me pull the trello up because i don't know what these do these are different okay this one gives five vitality which isn't bad but not good and we got borrow that's 15 percent spirit multiplier and 20 percent vitality that might be good because i'm not sure if i'm going spirit or strength build yet so i think we'll leave that we'll do the other nine rerolls later we complete Keys Case Quest, which gives me a bolster. I think I'm going to go ahead and bolster Vitality to start off with. But there we go. We have 50. So let's go ahead and buy a membership. And let's immediately go upstairs. And I want to train essentially our energy bar. Because the more energy we have, the more we can train. Okay, we max that out. This is an easy mini game. I like this mini game all of a sudden. Ah. And there we go. Okay, Jilly's also maxed out. And there we go. Lost gym membership. We did pretty well there for the first training session. Oh, no. Eh, why? Let me, let me claim a holo quest, I guess. This is actually kind of... I like this one. This is actually kind of fun to fight with. One second. So it's basically a melee class, but my heavy attack isn't a melee. Like, I, st I still basically have to melee with my primary, but my heavy is long range. That is cool. That's actually really helpful. That's going to be easy to fight. And then I also have this ability. That is also really good, too. We also have a new ability. We have Scatter Image, which is my mobility. I'm going to go ahead and do Scatter Image. That, that should be that should work. I'm unironically better. I don't know if it's because I have more practice now compared to when I started as a soul reaper, but I'm having a better time fighting at the beginning with this class. Most likely because I've already played a whole bunch. Okay, from looking at it, it looks like most of the shrifts, which is the special ability of this class, most of them scale off of spirit. So I think I'm gonna wait until I know what my ability actually is before. I'm just gonna go ahead and focus on leveling up to 15 so that way i can get that immediately because I, ha I have the max level now by the way the best part about this class is that i have access to my bind menu right away but hey we hit 100 yen and now that we have 100 yen there's something i want to do there's something here i want to buy that is totally not necessary but i still want to buy it i want to buy the hat there we go so now we look a little better but hey, level 15 and a new skill. So my new skill version. I'm guessing let's do Counter-Strike because I don't know what that does. Well, I mean, I know what it does. It's a parry attack. 
How does it act? Oh, that's not too bad. So I activate that right before I get about to get hit. Okay. Okay, we're level 15 now, though. So that means let's head over to the Quincy area. Now I want to head to the very back of the map and talk to the man himself. We're looking for a promotion. Prove yourself worthy. Go see General Albert for your hunting medallion. Do I gotta get money for the hunting medallion? I think I do. Yeah, I do. So I need to get 150 yen. I probably shouldn't. I probably should not have bought the hat. Okay, there we go. 150 yen. Let's buy ourselves. Oh, get out there. Okay, let's. Wait. Okay, let's buy a bounty medallion. There we go. We get away from the people trying to kill each other. You can't hunt with new protection. Do I have to get rid of my new protection? Ooh, got myself a hat. Head. Oh, this is a hat item. It's a hat slot. Dang it. I can't use that. I'd rather. I'd rather have the Quincy. It has better stats. Okay. So from what I understand. This is going to be a bit annoying. I go ahead and try to activate this. Yeah, I have to turn off my new protection, which means I can get jumped, which means I need to fight players, which I don't think I can do at level 17. I'm going to have to go ahead and start leveling up my stats, which I'm guessing I'm just going to level up spirit. And if I end up getting one of the few strength ones, I'll either reroll it for probably 200 Robux or I'll pay the 800 in-game cash. All right, there we go. I maxed out spirit, vitality, everything. I can now limit break up to rank D. And there we go. Finally did it. So now we are D rank. There we go. Oh, I apparently can also do invasions. I wonder if I can just survive an invasion. Let me see what the Quincy invasions are like. I want to I want to keep my new protection for as long as possible until I can actually like defend myself. Cause right now I have some good abilities, but not nearly as good as the players that can actually fight. Oh, hey, look, some hats. Heck yeah. I can actually use this one. And that is a face one. It completely covers my face. Okay, uh, let's disable the cosmetic part. Jesus. See what I mean? I need better abilities. Okay, let's try to do a soul invasion. Let's try to do invasion. It gives me options too. And look, a convenient entrance. Perfect. Okay, we only have to go over there. We have to just run back through that hole. This might actually not be that bad. V to grab. And now we just run. Yeah, that was actually quite calm. And look at that. Let's open our chest. First chest. Uh, two rares. Not too bad. Black arm cloak, mask of fear, glasses, and one product essence. That's good. Did that count towards the medallion? I'm just going to do more of those invasions because that was actually really easy. Now I'm being killed. Okay, spirit. And let me open my chest before I die. Open. Uh, three rares that time. Blue arm cloak, two products, one skill shop reset. That's good. And then trader shades. Also, what is that? Oh, yeah. Use to completely reroll your skills. One time use cut consumable awesome hopefully that doesn't lose that by dying i'm gonna keep that in here okay i'm ready your majesty let's see do i got it pathetic dang it okay now i think now it's, i think now it's a 40 percent chance because i forgot to do that last time let's see i'm ready please work ah okay i think now it's a 50 percent black mouth mask a strange two strange orbs and i got a cape Ooh, what, what the cape do oh that's the good one at least, at least the one that looks cool 14 spirit that's pretty good i'm gonna use that okay what are these for is i wonder if it's for this i hold it talk to you then i do this option like this one indeed i'll fix you up this special in no time what did i get like i don't have that ability yet well i'm guessing i'll go ahead and fix up another one and i will figure that out later okay well, let's see if we can go get our shrift i'm sorry i got a cape I wish I got the cape on the Soul Reaper. It would have looked better. Because this theme, this one's very themed to like the color white. Okay, hello. I'm ready. Pathetic again. Dang it. Three time relics. See, please work this time. Wait. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot's good. Awesome. Yeah, we have a shrift now. I don't know which one we have yet, though. Okay, there we go. Go back, activate it. Ooh, that is cool. That is a cool sword. That is satisfying. Just like curiosity, does this still work? Yeah, that still works. I go right back to the sword. That is awesome. I don't know which one I have yet because I don't have any of the abilities. I hope I have a good one. I wish it tells me which one I have. 
Here, let's see. So if I activate it now, what is it? Activate! And I just have a bigger bow. So the sword is something I created. I like the sword. And of course, I will say the fact that I do lose this is a bit annoying. Let's see. Spirit. And please give me one of the new ones. Okay, here we go. This is the one I got. Let me see if I can figure out which one that belongs to. Okay, I got Odyssey, which is the one that scales with strength. Are you kidding me? Oh, that sucks. Every single move on this one scales with strength. That is honestly more annoying than anything because all my stuff is on stupid spirit. And I, and I actually got a pretty good one. From what I'm seeing, a lot of people are saying that Odyssey's good. I just don't have the stat set for it. Well, let's grab the ability. And I got to start working on getting myself up to B rank so I can actually use these relatively easily. And honestly, probably what I should do... Can I reset my stats from here? Can I reset my stats via products? Okay, there's no stat reset in there. No. Dang it, I need 800 cash. Um, I'm guessing we grind up to 800. I'm gonna stop bothering with my stats too because I'm about to have to just regrind them all. Okay, I want to see how this ability works. So if I activate four... Ooh! That's cool! I don't know what exactly, exactly what it's doing, but... It went really far. Easy peasy. Okay, we got a new skill. Okay, wormhole burrow. Burrows into wormhole portals and attacks players, sending them upwards with you. Okay, that's an up attack. Or I can upgrade my current attack. I'd rather get them all. Okay, let's activate you. Okay, I want to see what these do. If I use four. Oh, that's nice. That's good. Okay, what about this one? I'm honestly not sure what that's doing. I need to look that up. I need to look that one up. Oh, I understand it now. Okay, so I have to press it more than once. There we go. Okay, that one's done. New skill. Dispersing arrow. And okay, there we go. 800 yen. Yeah, all the way back in this corner is a homeless man. And a homeless man messes with my soul. Oh, I need to have, I need to have a total of 180... I'm at 139. I got to rank up and everything. Okay, let's try this. I'll activate you. And then I use this ability. That's cool. Then I also have this one, which is really nice. And then I can also do this. Which I didn't have enough energy to use correctly. That is satisfying. The abilities on this is really good. Hey, another upgrade menu. I can either max out Wormhole or I can upgrade this one again this one's actually really good for travel because i can basically teleport a very far distance um i'm guessing i'll just keep up I'll, I'll max this one out and there we go we can limit break awesome let me go ahead and activate that and now we can actually go ahead and try to get the rest of these stats i don't know they're good sir i would like to reset my stats i am certain so now I have zero on all of those, and I need to raise these now if I want to get uh, my level raised at all. Let's head to the gym. And to start off, we're going to go ahead and level up our strength to 30 just by using the free gym. This is basically free levels. That was really fast. 34 already. And now that we've done that, let's go ahead and turn in the gourd. So there we go. So now we are at level 171. That's a bit overkill. Um, that's most of my levels. Looks like the rest of my stats I have right now are going to go into vitality. Oh, Lord. Yeah, uh, make sure you save your gourd when you're going to do that, because that's overpowered. And there we go. Okay, level 30 vitality with a three star. I've immediately swapped over my entire build. It's kind of crazy that I have all strength. But still good. Okay, let's go ahead and do our vitality attunement. And there we go. We maxed out our combat stats. So 171 strength and 39 vitality as a C rank. That's pretty good. Okay, let's go ahead and max these out now. Perfect. These abilities are actually really fun to use. And that maxed out my agility. Level 66 now, so now we have to do our energy. And there we go. Max that out too. Just a few two-star quests to do that. Okay, let's go ahead and start doing the limit break, which is essentially just me hunting down a ton of enemies. 
Okay, another new skill, level 58 now. And I can upgrade this ability. There we go. Perfect. And there we go. Okay, now we can limit break. I could finally be B rank. Which means I can use my special abilities whenever I want to. That is going to be nice. Okay, well, I filled the gourd. I should probably save the gourd for vitality because the gourd will be more than enough to max out one of these stats. But I do want to get vitality this level at least a little bit because 39 is not enough to survive battles with stuff. I need to be a little tankier if I want to survive stuff. But for now, let's go ahead and do a Ryatsu training with you. And there we go. With it, we also leveled up. And we have Max Ryatsu immediately. Um, okay, we can upgrade either one of our abilities. I think I'm going to upgrade this one again. Because now that we have that max style, let's go ahead and train up our Vitality. And from one Vitality Soul Gourd up to 82. Okay, I think that's enough. I think the rest of that can go into Strength. Let's go level up our Agility, and then that's the next one will do. And from one quest, I maxed that Agility. Perfect. I should probably start working on my level because I'm level 60 and the max level I could be is 91. That is a pretty big increase. Um, thank you to this guy. He just gave me this, which is for Quincy's. Don't know who that is. He just gave me one. He's a Soul Reaper, so he can't use this item. How much do you want to bet it's because I'm a girl? <laughs> my evil tricks worked. Okay, let's turn this in. So I have an actual part of interest. Okay, I just replaced your heart with an artificial metal one. Don't worry, your new heart comes with life support systems. Okay, yeah, yeah. So now I have this artificial heart. What is this? When you silence your heart so mobs cannot hear you approaching them nearby. Oh, so I have like a stealth thing. Okay, that's that's probably good for the invasions. There's a revive move and then I have the undetectable one. So, th so I got the one that basically makes it where I can't be seen by enemies for a little bit. There's another one that revives me if I get knocked. Hey, look, a strange ore. Awesome. I could use that to re-roll my special equipment. Because right now, this is the one I have. It's not too bad. Let's, let's re-roll it, because I'd rather have a bow or something. Fix me up a special shrift. Yes. Okay, let's see what it is now. Um, It's a claw. That's actually kind of cool. I got like a wolverine claw. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back and swap to the bow. My main reasoning is that I'm able to long range block break with it. Okay, so now that I've gotten quite strong, I'm gonna go ahead and start doing the assassinate quest because our stats are quite high. This should go quite well with this class, because this one's actually really good for combos. Yeah, that was satisfying. Level up from that too, we can upgrade everything, okay. I can upgrade Final Surge, which is from our cybernetic. I'm gonna attack now. Okay, well, let's just do this one, I guess. Something I know I'll use. Come on, another one? I've already killed five, but they just keep coming to me.
I have a ton of enemies around me. This is really bizarre. Quite good for experience stuff I stayed, but I'd rather come back. A successful mission. Killed a lot of enemies. Okay, upgrade strength. Which is now max, so I can just do limit breaking instead. Blood ring. Okay, what's a blood ring do? Negative 5 vitality plus 10 strength. We also got a bunch of bar for that. Look at that. We're halfway to rank A. Let's also go... also want to go ahead and change my equipment again. Let's see what I got this time. Um, ooh, a gun. I'm all for that. Yeah, we got a revolver. Okay, what's the right click? It's a melee still somehow. I might just use that just because it's a revolver. That's actually kind of satisfying. Yeah, look at that. That is so cool. Okay, yeah, we're using that. I've found a way to use a gun. This is brilliant. Oh, the execution's cool too. I pull them up and shoot them. That is awesome. Um, upgrade. Let's do it on that one. Let's max out all our damage abilities. Especially the shrift specific ones. Yeah, look at this. I, I execute, I pick them up and shoot them. Oh, I'm so glad I got this one. This is a cool execution. And would you look at that? I can level up. We are now A rank. And we're still very far off of our max potential level. Another new skill level, and we can max out this last ability. Awesome. All my abilities in my bar are now maxed out. At least the damage ones are. Okay, a few more of those rounds later, and I can actually now limit break up to S minus. And I did get lucky too. I ran a whole bunch of rounds. You can see by how many hats I have. But I did get a legendary. I got got a legendary hat but it's spirit and regen so i can't wear it the hat i'm currently using is better overall for me i wish i could sort by just hats because i don't have any hats that really do a lot of good for me that they all either have really bad or they all have spirit but let's go ahead and rank up so now we are s minus maybe we're just s because there isn't a minus there but our stats are insanely high I love gourds. They can just max out a stat immediately if you get three stars on it. It's so nice. Ooh, look, we got the Gatling Barrel. We got the Legendary. Awesome. Let's go turn that in. Ah, uh, we can only have one Cybernetic. Okay, that's the difference. Let me look what the minigun does. See if I like it better than my heart. Okay, well, that's actually quite good. Um, I think for now, I'm going to stick with the heart, though. And I'll keep the minigun for if I ever... Want to swap out the ability to revive with a, a long range attack. Because it has a long range attack and also a flare. The flare is basically useless, but I'm now S rank. I have gone up to pure S. I was negative S. I was minus S. Now I'm just S. I think I'm getting pretty close to max. Something else I can do. I finally got 10 of these time pieces. I want to see what I can do with these. So hold them. Talk to the NPC. Okay, 10 relics plus 50 yen. And in return, I got a crystal. Let me see what these crystals do. Okay, I can use this to enchant a skill. So if I click on it... Okay, so I get to enchant one of my skills. I'm guessing I'm going to go ahead and enchant this attack. That is probably my favorite. Okay, dispersing arrow. So select you. So now it's enchanted. Also, my amount of dashes I have is so nice. I can dash for so long now. Like, I can legitimately go from here... ...all the way to here in one set of dashes. That is amazing. Okay, it's literally not letting me raise my stats. I'm gonna try something and hopefully... Hopefully it works. I won't mind if it does. Let me train spirits. Maybe it wants me to have a base level 30 spirit. Maybe that's what it wants me to do. The spirit doesn't hurt. Okay, yeah, no, that, that's not even going up. I'm guessing that means my stats are as high as they can go. Got it. Okay. Well, we've made a lot of progress in this video. I made much more progress than I did in my Soul Reaper video, so I might have to go back to that character. Let me know what you think in the comments. 
actually get him caught up with this one because so far this one is basically maxed out i have maxed out all of my stats i can't go any higher on my combat or my support stat i'm at max limit break s rank i think just about the only thing i'm missing is my second set of abilities my and i'm probably saying this wrong a volstendig so i might need to do that in another video so let me know what you think down in the comments but if you do want to see more content on this game do let me know down in the comments or if you just want to see more content on games like this in general also let me know and additionally do you want to see more of the quincy class so far i'm really enjoying it not gonna lie the fact that i have a revolver is probably the most compelling part but thank you for watching and i'm guessing i gotta figure out how to actually unlock my next ability because i have tried quite a bit and i'm not quite sure what i'm missing